A lot of the work that I do is based on the writings and teachings of uh, an enlightened Scottish mystic named Sid Banks. And, and he articulated the human experience in terms of three principles, three fundamental truths, three fundamental forces, three fundamental energies. And one of those principles he, he described as the principle of mind. And when I wrote about it in my book, The Inside Out Revolution, I, I described it like this. There is an energy and intelligence behind life. This is ever present, but is not in control. It has no inherent morality or apparent point of view. It simply ensures that but for the interference of external circumstance, acorns become oak trees, cuts heal, and life begets life. And that principle is at the heart of all human thriving and all human suffering. If, if human beings are on their own, if, if, if all we've got is our little brains, and your little brain might be quite big, but it's still pretty small compared to even a supercomputer, let alone the intelligence of nature, then you've got to work hard to get ahead to thrive. You've got to struggle and put in the hours and do whatever it takes. And if you don't, nothing will happen. And if you do, everything turns out great. Except you might have noticed it doesn't work that way. There are times where through no fault of your own, everything goes great. And there are times where all your hard work and effort feels like it's just kind of being thrown back in your face. And those times can be distinguished by those times that we are working in harmony with that innate intelligence of life, that underlying aliveness and energy of life. And the times where we're ignoring it, either willfully, where we, we do know, but we're just not following our knowing, or we're just so distracted and caught up, we don't even notice that there is guidance. And, and I always think of it in terms of, do you see yourself as separate from nature or as part of it? And if you see yourself as separate from it, then you either have to conquer it, cope with it, or, or somehow find some other way of navigating it. But if you're part of nature, if human nature is part of nature with a capital N, then we have that same intelligence running through us. We have that same almost obviousness that if an acorn knew, it, it wouldn't worry about, yeah, but what if I become a rabbit? Or what if I become a pine tree? Or, or what if, which are the kinds of things we worry about. If you can see, if you get, if you know, not intellectually, but the way you get a joke, the way you know you got a joke is you laugh. The way you know you get that you are a part of nature is you feel it in your bones. You feel it in your energy field. You feel that aliveness like a wire feeling electricity running through it and lighting it up. Then life is an entirely different experience. And what appears possible when you have the energy and intelligence of life running through you is completely different from what appears possible if it's to be, it's up to me.